Pause for a second. Which of these has the least carbohydrates? A bread roll, a bowl of rice, or a can of soda? Most people would guess the soda, but here's the twist. When it comes to carbohydrates, they're actually pretty much the same. Carbs are sugars or molecules your body breaks down into sugars. They can be simple, like glucose, fructose, or galactose, or more complex, like starches and fibers. Simple sugars link to form disaccharides like sucrose or lactose, and more complex ones form chains called oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. But in the end, during digestion, your body breaks all of them down into simple sugars to fuel your cells. So whether you eat a cookie, a slice of bread, or drink soda, your blood sugar will rise. The difference lies in how fast. Take starch and fiber. Both are polysaccharides from plants, but the way their sugar molecules are linked changes everything. Starches use alpha bonds that are easy for your enzymes to break, while fiber uses beta bonds that your body can't digest. That's why white bread spikes your sugar quickly, just like soda, while high fiber foods like veggies or whole grains slow it down. This is known as glycemic index. High GI foods flood your blood with glucose, while low GI foods release it slowly. And here's the catch. When your blood sugar rises, your body releases insulin to bring it back down. But if this happens too often, your body becomes less sensitive to insulin. That's called insulin resistance. And it's a warning sign for metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions like high blood pressure, belly fat, and elevated blood sugar that can lead to heart disease and type 2 diabetes. So next time you're thinking about what to eat, remember, sugar doesn't always taste sweet. And sometimes the real danger is hiding in plain sight.